Welcome, Taurus. I'm the Empress. I'm so happy to be here with you guys today. Look, guys, these readings are very general. If you would like to go more into depth on your situation, please book a personal reading with me. That information will be in the drop box below. I am running a $25 new client special, okay? So if you're a new client, you'll receive your reading for $25, okay? One question, $25. All right, so let's see what energy is coming towards Taurus. Keep in mind, guys, this energy can't go vice versa, all right? This could be you feeling this energy or someone around you. We got the seven, I'm sorry, the stand your ground, okay? So you feeling, woo, like you got to defend yourself. You got to stand up for what you know is right or what you see, okay? You got to stand up for what is right, okay? All right. All right, Virgo. I'm sorry, not Virgos, Taurus. I just did Virgos. That's why I'm all kind of all over the place. All right, five of pentacles, which is the financial and material changes. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have patience and deception and envy. All right, someone here has been wearing a false mask. And I feel like you're tired of it. So you could be carrying this energy here of standing your ground, okay? Standing up for what you believe in. We got third eye chakra, I see, okay? This is things that you can see, all right? Not with your physical two eyes, but with your third eye, okay? So this is like standing up for something that you believe in, something that you know that is right. Maybe you feel left out, okay? Maybe you feel like there's you don't know the whole story, but you know what you believe in. I feel like you feel like someone is wearing some type of false mask. And I feel like you're losing patience with this situation and you're tired of it. Okay, so let's see. Why stand your ground here for Taurus? We'll get a few clarifiers to see what's what. But why stand your ground here for Taurus? Why stand your ground here for my Taurus? Stand your ground. Why stand your ground here for Taurus? For January 15th through the 31st. All right. Yep. Eight of Pentacles. All right. So you you've been trying to you've been trying to do what's right. You've been trying to stand your ground. Okay. Maybe feeling like you got to keep your guard up. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Maybe you've been working on being more you know being more aware or observant. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Yeah, we got the Justice card, which is Libra's energy. Okay, so somebody tried to stick up for somebody. Maybe you're trying to stand up for somebody. Because then we got this same, same energy here, right here at the bottom of the deck, which is the Seven of Wands, which is the same energy as the Stand Your Ground. Somebody tried to stick up for somebody. And then here we go again, that Seven of Swords, because someone was being fake or wearing a false mask. But maybe you were trying to defend somebody, stick up for somebody, stand up for them. Why is third eye chakra here? We got the page of wands. Okay, so definitely you know. Okay, someone may be taking a break from, I'm picking up like a separation. Is there some type of separation? It could be in something in regards to family life. Okay, someone could be trying to separate themselves. Okay. Why is material and financial changes here? Someone here feels left out in the cold or feel like they don't have enough resources or the outcast. Why is material and financial changes here? Okay, we got the three of swords, okay? Could there be three people involved? But... I am picking up like there's a separation of some sort. We got the moon and the knight of cups, okay? So you could be dealing with the Pisces, but there's some type of communication coming in. Somebody was hurt. Maybe somebody hurt somebody's feelings is what I'm getting here. Somebody hurt somebody's feelings. Why is the three of swords here? Why is the three of swords here? I do pick up clearly that somebody tried to stand up for somebody. Why is the three of swords here? 
Why is the Three of Swords here? Okay, yeah. An apology possibly is getting ready to come forth. Okay, but some oh, somebody doesn't want to apologize. Okay, somebody doesn't want to apologize. Somebody feels like they don't owe anyone an apology. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Yeah. All right, someone, you know... We got the emperor here, Aries, this energy, but also father-like energy. This could be in regards to something legal, or this could be involving like a marriage or family, okay? Or in regards to a work situation. We got the boss here that someone could be dealing, you could be dealing with the boss, but there needs to be a cap on some type of conflict. We got the world and the five of swords, so there could be some competition, some jealousy energy, something's going on. And somebody's feeling like they're defending, they have to defend themselves or defending someone else. Because maybe you saw with your own eyes, you read something, is what I'm getting here. You may have read something, you saw it yourself. And someone is possibly feeling like they're outcast or left out in the cold. Or that they don't have enough. And someone is looking for some type of apology but I'm not sure if someone is going to get that apology. I'm not sure. Okay, so let's get a read really quick. Let's see what's going on. Give me a message for Taurus for January 15th through the 31st, please. Give me a message, okay? There's confusion going on. We got the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. Someone, something could be an illusion or someone is daydreaming or, you know, not looking at the reality of the situation. Okay. What's the challenge for Taurus, please? What is the challenge for Taurus? What's the challenge? Why is there seven cups here? Okay, we got the Wheel of Fortune, okay? So, there needs to be some type of change, okay? Someone needs to make some type of decision to make some type of change, all right? Oh, someone has King of Wands. Okay, this is Leo Sagittarius Aries energy, but nonetheless taking action, okay? Taking action, so maybe someone needs to make a decision on what how they're going to deal with it and once again we got that seven of swords energy someone is being manipulative sneaky wearing a false mask something isn't real okay and i'm picking up that something is a facade with the seven of cups and the seven of swords some of you guys could i see the number seven quite a few times but there could be a facade someone could be putting on some type of facade okay Someone could be putting on some type of show here. What is crowning this situation? What is crowning this situation for Taurus, please? Okay, the Four of Swords. Someone's tired of the conflict, okay? Someone's tired of this mess. This is a mess. Whatever this is, this is a mess, okay? I'm picking up on a fight, okay? Someone having to protect themselves, defend themselves, because there's been some type of disagreement, okay, that needs to be put to rest. Okay, so for future energy, future energy... Future energy for Taurus, please. So maybe you're thinking about the best way to take action in this situation. I'm picking that up as well too. Taurus, what what energy is coming towards Taurus for the future? All right, so it looks, yeah, it looks like things are going to get squared away. Okay, so we have the Five of Wands and the Temperance cards. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. But this is, never, nonetheless, this is, you know, balancing out this conflict. Okay, so resolving this issue. Okay, so the issue is going to be resolved. 
but you could be thinking about the best way to go about it currently. Um, but I feel like you, you're going to get it together, okay? You're going to get it together. You're going to get everything together to where, you know, you guys are able to have some type of sit down or talk about it. And the issue, you know, is going to be balanced out. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Okay, I got the star card. <laughs> you could be dealing with an Aqu Aquarius. But someone is hoping that. You could be hoping, like, this isn't real. Like, maybe you're hoping that this person is being sneaky or playing. Maybe you're just hoping, like, this situation just isn't real. Like, this can't be happening. Seven of Cups, please. You're just tired of all this confusion. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is this Seven of Cups here? Queen of Cups. Okay. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpios, Energy. But someone is very... I'm getting like... You know, defensive. On Kind of like on the defensive side. I'm getting like choose a better way to approach the situation. Okay. So that's going to be the reading that I have for you guys for the 15th through the 31st. All right. If this message resonated good, it was for you. All right. If it didn't, check your moon and your rising. All right. You may get your message there. All right, my loves. Until next time, I'll chat with you guys later. Ciao for now.